Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Are you ready? Let's go. You clicked on this video so that means you're already doubting if you're actually with the right person or if you're dating the wrong person or you want to know the signs to look out for in the future just to be on the safe side. Now this doesn't mean that you're expecting your partner to not be the real deal. It means that you want to be careful and there's nothing wrong with that. So sit back and listen because in today's video I will be telling you 5 signs that you are dating the wrong person. Number 1. They are not comfortable introducing you to their family and friends. If they don't want you to meet their family, this could be because they don't feel the relationship is serious and they don't want to introduce you to them until they are sure. Now if you've been dating for a long time, then you should be concerned. But if the relationship is still new, then give it a little bit of time. See, if they don't want you to meet their friends, at least their closest friends, then you should ask why. Ladies love to show off their man and ladies love to talk about their partner with their close friends at least. So if she's not doing this, then it's either she's ashamed to be with you or hiding the relationship for whatever reason. So if you've noticed that you haven't met any of her friends, this is a red flag. So sit her down and ask her why. Number two, you can't have difficult conversations. See, if you can't have conversations about money, politics, things that are bothering you both, your future together or anything because you both or one of you end up pushing it aside, then this is a concern. If you can't have difficult conversations, conversations while dating. Trust me, there is no way you can have difficult conversations as a married couple. And pushing it aside doesn't make it go away, it just prolongs the inevitable. And if you're saying you don't want to have difficult conversations with your partner because you don't want to upset them, you should change this mindset. You will not always agree with your partner, that's just facts. Now how you handle the arguments is actually what matters. Even if you don't agree with their point of view, respect their opinions. And both of you will just have to look for ways to reach each other halfway. And this leads me to my next point. Number 3. You feel drained. Relationships come with happiness, love and growth. But like I explained in point number 2, that doesn't mean every day is going to be rosy and that's fine. But if all you do most of the time is argue and you feel drained and tired most of the time, then this might not be the person for you. There is a difference between having different opinions about something and not being compatible. When you're not compatible, both of you have different lifestyles and standards and principles. You don't share the same values and because of that, there is no solid foundation to build a relationship on top of. Number 4. You talk but they don't listen. The right person doesn't just see you, they hear you. They pay attention to what you're saying and take action if it's something they can do. And if it's something beyond them or something they can't do anything about, they show their support, encourage you and are your biggest cheerleaders and are always there for you. This isn't something you should just overlook and toss to the side. So guys, be careful and watch out for this point and see you in my next video. Bye!